Hello. How are you? Oh, let's not go in reverse, Naya. Welcome back to my channel. It's been about a week. A lot has happened. I have, wait, let me put my seatbelt on. I have been in my feelings and I want to talk about it because I believe that I can help someone. So anyway, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm drinking a green juice. This is just a lot of celery, a lot of ginger, and a tiny bit of apple, just to kind of give it a little bit of sweetness. Should have added more apple, but anyway. I normally add lemon to it, but I forgot. Oh, there's a fly in here that is not gonna work. Anyway, let me let this fly out. You're gonna have to get up out of here, buddy. Anyway, so, I am a creature of habit. I like most of you guys don't like change. I like routine. I like for things to um, make sense. Um, I am a control freak. And so, it was about a week ago. Yeah, about maybe uh, maybe eight, nine days ago. Anyway, my trainer advised that he was going to be on vacation. Um, so, he gave me and my other workout bestie um, a plan as to what we need to focus on, what we need to do, and all of that good stuff so okay so he left on a Thursday and so I went to the gym that Friday followed the plan and then we had a message saying that the gym would be closed because they had some repairs that they need to make so it was just like ugh. So, there's another location that is um, about maybe 20 minutes from where I live, maybe, maybe 18 minutes, but my normal gym is literally like nine minutes away, okay? But either way, it's not a big inconvenience, it just means I have to leave a few minutes earlier to go to the one that's a little bit more further away. Not a big deal at all. Um, however, every time I go to this gym, and there's a reason why that this happens, and I'm going to have to make a whole new video about it, but every time I go to this gym, and I don't go there often, um, I start having these, like, panic attacks. I just don't like this gym. Um. And I mean, literally when I park to go inside this gym, I mean, my heart is racing. You can see it through my, my shirt. I am just having the worst panic attack, anxiety attack. I feel it in my chest. I feel it in my back. It's just like my body is so resistant to go into this gym. But I know I had to go, so I went, and that was a Wednesday, I believe. It was last Wednesday. So I go in, and of course, everyone from the gym that's closer, closest to me, everyone who goes to that gym early in the morning have to now go to this other gym that's further away. Um, so I saw some familiar, lots of familiar faces, actually. Um, but the way that this gym is set up, it's really weird. Their machines are not, there's no flow to the gym. It's like you have some legs in the front 
um, leg machines in the front and then you have it's mixed with upper body and then you have leg machines in the back and it's in this secret room it's just a weird setup and I know to some people it's like well that's not a big deal just go to the machine that you're prescribed to go to and do what you have to do but the thing about it is it's so much walking I have to do to find the machine and this is first world problems this is not you know I mean but there, there's just no flow there's not like a section for legs a section for upper body you know a section for abs the way my gym the gym that I normally go to is set up so it's a lot of walking and looking for the machine and I was just getting very very frustrated um, plus like I had to do slam balls they didn't even have any heavy medicine ball so I had to kind of um, you know improvise which it's not that big of a deal right so when I came home when I left I cried the whole way home I cried the whole way home and I didn't just cry because I'm a spoiled brat <laughs> I cried because I was just embarrassed. Like, what is your problem, Maya? Why are you tripping over something that's so trivial? And it means nothing, right? On my way home, I saw a rainbow. And I knew that God saw, heard, and felt my tears. And I believe that was his way of comforting me. And the rainbow, biblically, represents God's promise. And I had to remember just a couple, just a handful. There are tons of you know, God's promises in the Bible. But I just focused on just a handful of them. And I began to feel better. When I walked through the doors of my home, my husband is normally home and he'll normally say, how was your workout? So before he could even ask me, how was my workout? I said, do not ask me how my workout was. I had a bad morning. And then I'm fixing my breakfast. He didn't say anything. And then I just began to cry again and tell him what happened. And I just was, I just was beside myself. And he hugged me and I cried. Isn't it? It's something else. Like, you can be so upset and then when someone hugs you, they're hugging you because they want to comfort you, but it makes you cry even more. So I am now bawling, right? And he's listening and he doesn't say anything. He just holds me and he says, okay, tomorrow I'm coming with you to the gym. And what I'm going to do is, like, set your station up so there's less walking you have to do, you know? like So, so that next day, he got up with me at... 425 we got dressed and we traveled to the gym and when I pulled up into the parking lot my heart is racing again I'm having this panic attack and just me talking about it I can feel like the tightness in my chest so we walk in and he already had a copy of what you know, my trainer wanted me to do, and he gets everything that I need, and even one of my, my girlfriends, my, um, my other workout bestie was there, and he kind of set things up for the both of us, and he kept us motivated, and we did the workout, and we left. That was last week. I can, and then the next day, I went by myself. Um, no, I didn't go. I didn't do it that next day after that. 
So, of course, my trainer is back from vacation, and he doesn't really care for the layout of the gym neither, but I don't think my trainer quite understands my anxiety about that gym. I, it's just hard for me to really, really focus. The internet is janky, blah, blah, blah. So, what am I doing about all of this? What, what, what's, what's your point, Maya? My point is this. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. You have to push through. If you have a goal, and that's the thing about the enemy. He knows how great you're going to be. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. The enemy knows how great you are. The enemy knows how great you're going to be. And he will do anything and everything to derail you. To get you off kilter. To get you off track. To get you and keep you distracted. For me, I get distracted through my anxiety. You know? And I refuse to be medicated for it. I mean, I just really started... Um, this anxiousness um, December of 2019 and I'll make a whole separate video with um, there's a reason why and I know I know the reason why you know and it's just another reason why I want to um, hear from you guys in reference to the areas in which you struggle so we can create a community a safe community to help each other, you know, to kick each other in the behind when we need it, right? To love on each other when we need it. Because when I tell you these panic attacks, this anxiety, it almost feels like I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And I know I'm not dying. I know I'm going to be okay. Hindsight. But in the moment, I feel debilitated. I feel pain, right? So keep on keeping on. Push through. You're not going to die. You're going to make it. coming and I was leaving that gym yeah so I am thankful I'm thankful let's talk about what I'm thankful for and stop complaining right I'm thankful that I have a gym oh and that first day I went and I just was doing a lot of walking around with my bag and my BCAAs and I was frustrated and when I was leaving one of the other trainers who works there was just like hey you okay he was a total godsend he was just like you know what's going on so I was telling him and and he just kind of ministered to me in a way that blessed me so much when I tell you God comes through all of the time all the time anyway so what am I thankful for? I'm thankful that I have a trainer, that I can even afford a trainer. I'm thankful that I have a gym that is nine minutes away. I'm thankful for this other gym that I can't stand that is 15, 20 minutes away. I'm thankful for that. Not many people have that. 
and it's a blessing. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to compete into these shows and, you know, have the means to pay for that stuff. It's not cheap. You know, and I have to remember my why. And my why is not to just win competitions and bring home medals. I mean, the reality is you put more money out than you'll ever receive. And that's a fact. Putting out all this money for these competitions for a medal. It's a very expensive medal. You know? I'm thankful. And you should be too. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make another video because it's gonna kinda kick off in reference to grief. I kinda wanna really talk about that. And I wanna hear from you in reference to your grief story and how you are dealing and coping with it because grief can be debilitating. So I'm gonna end it right there. I miss my exit talking to you guys. But it's okay. Oh, that ginger is good, spicy. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm done rambling. Thank you for listening to me. I will talk to you guys later. Um, I have a work trip uh, and I leave Sunday. So I think what I'm gonna do is in reference to the whole grief thing, I'll talk to you guys then. Yeah, I think so. If not before then, I don't know, we'll see. I love you guys. I am thankful and grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for listening and coming to my channel. Have a blessed one. Bye.